Alright then, so hello guys and welcome back to another episode of F1 2006 Championship Edition. Now, the past few rounds have not gone great. So far we've done four rounds and all of them have ended badly. Uh, where I left it, I was vaguely trying to get recruited by either Williams or BMW Sauber. Well, not BMW Sauber, I might apply for that though. And I don't know why we're even bothering because we're not going to get in because we haven't finished enough races. We haven't done enough races and yeah. It's just not going to happen, is it? So let's just go to the Grand Prix of Europe, which I believe is a Nürburgring, and let's see if we can actually pick up our first race finish and possible race points. Here we are once again at the Nürburgring for Saturday qualifying. As usual, we're expecting it to be as exciting and incident-filled as ever. So let's press on with session one. Yes, let's press on and see what happens. moments with the second knockout session where we'll decide grid positions 16 to 11 yep couldn't really get any faster guys which is a little bit irritating uh don't know what the cutoff time was but you know um anyway just carry on to the race let's ignore qualifiers. just carry on to the race and i will meet you on the grid after the formation lap final systems checks show that all systems functioning within the tolerance have. have a great race all right, thank you very much, engineers. So we line up for the grid after the parade lap. We have not been on the pace this weekend. Kimi Raikkonen is in front of us after not qualifying in Q2 for some reason. And we are two, four, six, eight, and ten red lights. And we are off. Great start. Might get past Kimi Raikkonen. We are past Kimi Raikkonen. Hit the front of our tail as we get distracted. We've still got a great start, though. We get him, yes, up the inside. We have not shown great pace this weekend, and yet we are up. Oh, and there's been an incident with the Ferrari. We're up into seventh place, we're up into the points. We get in the inside of Coulthard. Is. That was not great English. It's still up on the inside, we are going to get tangled. No! Oh. We were so close, and then it's all gone horribly wrong, and we're going to get... Oh, my God. Coulthard, you going so well we have not been on the pace and yet we are up into the points come on and we are off oh, finally my god it's been so long why was it seven seconds is it for the incident or what i don't really know Looks but like anyway an we've now got to try and make some sort of comeback right it out oh that's a huge pile up look absolutely huge pile up as we've gone wide Luckily, he seems to have got don't know what stay. happened there. Raikkonen must have had an incident or a blowout or Your something. Because there's been a huge incident. Barrichello's down in 18th, up. look. Must be a tank with him. I wonder if anyone's got any damage as we catch up to Yuchi Ide. Ide might, because he's... Whoa, we are so wide here. Massa's down in 17th. What's happened? Let's stream up on Ido. Are we going to get on the inside? No, that's a crofty S. And whoa, and we are going to catch him up quite significantly. That's not coming into the pits. No, it's not. We are still in 21st place. We've got a great exit though. Yuchi Ide is not stand a chance with us in the Ferrari engine. Has no one ever looked at the front? No, he hasn't. Who's going up the inside? Oh no, Mass is trying to go up the inside. Oh, well, I'm just going to cut this bit. Shit. Up the inside of Villeneuve. No. Oh, we might actually. Yes, we might. We'll push him wide. We have got him up into 18th place. Great move. Came from late as Villeneuve gave us a room. Great exit as well onto the back of Takuna Masato. I think it's Takuma Masato or something like that. The inside as we clip him. We've got the position back though. Accelerate hard away. Let's give you pressure. Caught up to Masso. Got a much better exit though. We've got a slipstream down here. Don't think we'll get him though. Might get on the inside here. Breaking. Oh, he puts wide. Massa going to go on the cutback, he wasn't able to, made the move for Felipe Massa up into 16th place. Making some great progress here, showing much better pace than he qualified, but obviously got into this track now. Not track I played since F1 2013, bearing in mind, so it wasn't on F1 2014, so it was Hockenheim. F1 2015 didn't have either of the German Grand Prix, I don't think. And F1 2016 will have the Hockenheim Grand Prix, so this is a track of races F1 2013, races on a couple of times on this, uh, 
this uh, game, but it's been a while. It's been a long time since I played this, so we're just getting into this now, I think. So, of course, I was making some great throws at the field. We got an incredible exit on Barrichello. We're going to make a move up the inside. We are nearly touch Coulthard. We're going to push Coulthard. Do not block wheels again. We do touch, though. He's still there. Coulthard is the thorn in my side today. So up into 14th place. We're going to try and get Albert. Speeds up into 12th. What a race this is for the Toro. So it's breaking. Whoa, that was close. Shut the door then. Alves, man, come on. So the Montero who pitted earlier in the race probably goes to the end. But he's not made any progress on us at all, the fact we've been fighting so much. But, you know, comes and goes, I guess. As we try and get a good exit on Montero. We are, we're going to slip him down here and see if we can make any progress. But we're going to break him. Going to see if he make, gives room for us. He might. No, he's not. He's going to shut the door and he goes wide. We've made the move anyway. A few of the cars spread out this cool side, massive behind us. Massive made some great progress. However, we've got a clear air in front of us. Oh, well, there's some people in the pits. Who's that? That is. Could have got the inside. Are we though? No, great. Now let's be a front wing change as well. I cannot believe that as Alonso gets in our way. As he is on high fuel. And we are now about to battle with Fernando Alonso until we pit. Which is not for a while now either. Right, as we come through to have seven laps remaining, I can't actually have to work out how many laps is gone. But uh, that's how it looks. You can see Freno. He's got to look at Fisichella, how close he is coming out then. But um, yeah, we've got quite a lot of graining on the tyres currently, so that's not how I wanted it. But we are catching quite a lot on speed as we follow. Fisichella and Alonso, but the front wing damage is going to be we're going to have to change our front wing in the pit stop, which is not what I wanted, because uh, as it stood we didn't need to, and now we do, so it's going to make for a longer pit stop, which my front wing seems to go more orange, don't really know, but you know, anyway, um, hopefully our pit stop won't be too long, we'll have much lower fuel than everyone else, which will be helpful, because we are getting an overcut now with less fuel on the people that were in front of us, so that will be helpful, speed I think will pit this lap, and then we'll pick the following lap. So it's looking rosy. I will say though, Raikkonen, no, that's not Raikkonen, it's Montoya. Well, it looks like so far out the lead, it'll be interesting to see where he comes out, whether he'll come out right in front of us with Fisichella and Alonso. However, Alonso is now caught up to Scott Speed as we've been catching a bit of rate of knots. It's positive to see with no front wing as Massa is very much up our tail. He should be racing with these guys, but he caught up in an incident earlier on in the race with Barrichello. It's going to give us a red. Yes, of course it is. Massa might pit. No, Massa's just going to hold. Oh, come on, come on. These are all these positions we're losing. Come on. Oh my god, that's going to cause us an absolute calamity. We've got barely any tyres for it. Front wing's gone. And now we've got Button and Michael Schumacher there. There is Montoya who would have come out behind us in actual fact. So that's interesting. Yeah, the flag of sex two is under what it's for, but we're coming into the pits. We'll have it conservative going into the pits to make sure we don't crash and what that yellow flag is actually for. Can't see anything on the mini map. No, it's fine. So coming to the pits, we'll have to change our front wing, which is still so irritating that Alonso did get in our way. Um, but there were quite a few coming in behind us actually. Um, oh no, we won't have to change our front wing, okay, that's fine. He's fussing about our whole front wing debacle, but it's fine. So let's go. Oh, I've been held to the pit by the looks of that. Oh no, we haven't. So it's been a good pit stop. We are going to come in. Where are we going to come in? We're going to come in behind Barrichello. She's about where I expected. Ahead of Vilda, ahead of Albers. In 15th place. Is that some people still not able to pit? I don't know. I think there's... Yeah, with the penalties and our front wing and stuff, it did slow us down. So I think we'll be... Come on. I don't know where we'll end up here in the race. Uh, if we can try and catch up to Barrichello and Scott Speed, that would be helpful. Barrichello has got up to speed very quickly, so we'll just see how this race pans out. Uh, I don't think we'll get any points, but if we could get a finish. So I've just noticed the Redmonds are so far out in front. As long as they work together, then they'll be absolutely fine. If they don't, then there could be a crash and we'll end up higher up the field. 
Alright, so you join us with three laps to go now. We finally caught up to Scott Speed. Barrichello has just gone, to be honest. He overtook Scott Speed and just went. So we're not the pace of Barrichello, which is highly surprised when Button is actually quite high up there. I think Button is currently in fourth position uh, ahead of Michael Schumacher. So, you know, the, the Honda's got great pace around here. Uh, we just want to be our teammate, really. I don't want to crash into him. However, he has left us the space. Come on. Do not crash into this guy. As uh, Scott Speed actually does have us there, and he's got a much better exit as well. We'll slip him down here, try to get a much better exit for the hairpin. And I don't think we're going to get it. There has been a, there is an oil flag though. We do touch. We go round the inside. Who is it? That is. I actually don't know who it is. That's Coulthard, I think. That's Clean. Wow. So we are up into 13th place. I was overtaking Speed and Clean basically in a very short space of time. So let's try and get away from Scott Speed. And uh, I don't think we'll catch up Barrichello, because Barrichello is up there with Felipe Massa currently. Uh, a couple of corners up the road actually, so I don't think we're going to get him. I think 30 to be our finishing position, so let's just see how it goes, make sure we don't make any mistakes, and just make sure we finish this race. Oh, hold on, there's... Ah, oh, that might be the oil flag for something that just went. I was getting so hopeful then that there was going to be an oil flag for something that was just happening as we go wide, as we actually get quite distracted. We go round the oil, I think. Uh, I've just noticed that uh, Weber has been overtaken by Felipe Massa. So actually get very close up there now, so I don't think we'll catch up. They are still a few corners ahead. Uh, Barrichello, Weber and Massa are scooting away, looking for the other winner from Nico Rosberg. Um, so, yeah, I think we're actually losing them because Barrichello's got quick pace. I think he might actually have Weber, probably while I'm talking. Um, yeah, oh, it was, he's on for the final lap. And he probably is in for the win unless there's an instant. Um, so yeah, this would be where we finish. Just finish the final lap. I uh, would have got our first uh, race completion, I think. Hopefully next time out. I don't know what the next race is. I think it's Monaco, which is a track I am crap at. Um, you know, we might get some points, but unlikely. We'll just see how it goes. I used to be good around Monaco on this uh, game, so we'll see if we are actually on this one. Uh, so let's just finish this final lap and take the uh, completion of this race. And as you come through the chicane, Alonso's won the race, which is hardly surprising. He's been up there all season. Um, I think he's top of the championship now, but he might not be. I think Massa was actually top, but he's not going to get any points today. Uh, as we come through the final corner to complete the German Grand Prix. Nice result. We actually did a 130.6 or something, which was two seconds faster than our fastest lap in qualifying. So it shows how much we actually grew into the race, but... Um, yeah, we weren't going to do much in that race, well with Massa, but we'd have only been 10th if we actually kept ahead of him. The tens of thousands of F1 fans that travel here from all over Europe have seen a great spectacle today, and they'll be going home. Yeah, I'm not actually sure I care what Martin Brundle's saying, um, but, you know, we had a collision with Coulthard, who I don't actually know where Coulthard finished up. Oh, he didn't finish, but this is probably calmer. Although, in all honesty, you know, I could have left him more room, he could have heeded, it was probably a racing incident in the end. So, we're 14th, speed, uh, no, we're 13th, speed 14th, sorry. Nice, nice little race for uh, Tor Rosso, not a bad result. Uh, let's just go to the championship standings, Alonso is actually top. I actually thought it was Master, it might have been him at one point. For the Keller moves above Truly, actually how many points did he get? He got 8 points, so he would have moved, actually he moved up ahead of quite a few people. Uh, Alvin's got 4 points! Jesus! He's actually ahead of quite a few cars, so that's our little total. In fact we haven't actually got many points, I think Sato got a few points as well, so that's... We'll be looking for points now, I think West End came to the Imola Grand Prix the last time. Uh, we'll check through our email once this loads. Yep, here we go. Uh, recruitment, they'll prove you nothing. Advert, yeah, rejected by Williams, probably in our emails. Advocation for a bit, oh, that's been sent. Turned down, yeah, not been involved, haven't been involved. Two first of tests. Great work, yay! Well done, thank you. Uh, advanced time, don't think there's anything else. Unlikely. Yeah, that's highly surprising as well. I think we'll have to finish the season with Toros before we actually get any offers from anyone. If we can get at least one point, would be beautiful. Uh, Luis wants to see started. I don't care. Go to Grand Prix. So next Grand Prix is Spanish Grand Prix. Uh, that'll be next time, next week. I uh, hope you're enjoying F1 2016, by the way. I've thoroughly enjoyed making it. Uh, it's great fun. Uh, this is something just a little bit different that I like playing, because, you know, I love this game. This is great to have two games which I love playing. I think quite a lot of inspiration from F1 2016 came from this like formation laps and all that sort of stuff um, 
that's probably in my mind but um, anyway guys thank you for watching subscribe for weekly f1 and gaming content and i will see you guys next time